Shortly after the shooting in Uvalde, you were told this is different. Things will change. Something will be done. From Uvalde, three days after the shooting, we told you nothing's going to change. Nothing is different, and nothing meaningful will be done on gun control. We were right and remain correct. Depending on where you sit in the gun debate, that's either good news or bad news. But it is the truth. New polling from Quinnipiac shows gun control championed by the left more unpopular than ever. For example, 50% of voters, only 50%, want to ban the sale of assault weapons. 45% do not. That's the highest percentage of people not wanting to ban since the polls started in 2013. Highest ever oppose. When asked, what do you think the main cause of school shootings by young people is? 40% of Americans say mental health. Only 19% say availability of guns. 17% blame family instability. 10% social media. 7% entertainment, such as movies, music, and video games. And if anything is going to get done in the United States Senate, that 40% is where there is a chance for compromise. Kelly Meyer is at the Capitol, where negotiations continue even on a Friday afternoon. Hi, Kelly. Hey, Leland. Well, that's right. And it's unusual that we are not seeing this usual uprising from Republicans on gun talks. There are none of them blocking the progress here. Some are involved in these bipartisan ongoing negotiations. But this is all likely because the proposals that we're hearing right now are modest and narrow. Here's what's on the table. A push for states to pass red flag laws, not a federally mandated red flag law, a potential waiting period to purchase a firearm for 18 to 21 year olds, and investments in school safety and mental health care. What's off the table, raising the age to buy an AR-15 from 18 to 21, a ban on assault weapons, universal background checks, and restricting magazines. It's what's off the table that's going to infuriate gun rights groups and President Joe Biden, who's called for many of the things that are currently not up for discussion. But this is all still happening behind closed doors. Like you said, there were talks ongoing this afternoon with that bipartisan group on Capitol Hill. But it's likely that when this final deal is done, that's when you're going to hear some more noise from both sides on what did and did not get in. But right now, it's fairly quiet and bipartisan, which are two things that I don't normally use to describe <laughs> Capitol Hill. So. Sometimes it's a good sign. Sometimes it's a bad sign. You, right, you rightly, very rightly point out uh, that it's po very possible the Democrats in the House just won't compromise uh, on a lot of these things and will block it to say they, they want more. Uh, Kelly Meyer in Washington. Kelly, have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. All right, you too, Leland. Right. Thank you. Great. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.